St. Ephrosinus, the cook of Alexandria. Little is known of the life of Ephrosinus other than he was born of simple parents. He was a humble monastic whose desire was for anonymity. He is known for one incident in his life. As Ephrosinus fulfilled his monastic obedience in the kitchen as a cook of the brethren of the monastery, he did not absent himself from thought about God. He continually dwelt in prayer and fasting, remembering always that obedience is the first duty of a monk. Therefore, he was obedient to the elder brethren. His patience was amazing. The brethren often reproached him on account of his lowly upbringing, but he did not complain and endured every unpleasantness. St. Ephrosinus pleased the Lord by his inner virtue that he concealed from people. A priest of the monastery, in praying, asked the Lord to show him the blessings prepared for the righteous in the age to come. He had a dream, and in that dream it seemed to the priest that he was standing in a beautiful garden. Of the scene, he contemplated the inexplicable beauty with fear and with joy. In it, he also saw Ephrosinus, the cook of the monastery. Amazed at this encounter, the priest asked Ephrosinus how he came to be there. The saint replied that he was in paradise through the great mercy of God. The priest then asked if Ephrosinus would be able to give him something from the surrounding beauty. In reply, St. Ephrosinus suggested the priest take whatever he wished, and so the priest pointed to three luscious apples growing in the garden of paradise. Ephrosinus picked the three apples, wrapped them in a cloth, and gave them to his companion. When the priest awoke in the early morning, he initially thought the vision to be a dream, but suddenly he noticed next to him the cloth with the fruit of paradise wrapped in it, emitting a wondrous fragrance. Later, the priest found St. Ephrosinus in church and asked him under an oath where he was that night before. He replied that he was there where the priest also was. Then, the monk continued that the Lord, in fulfilling the prayer of the priest, had shown him paradise and had bestowed the fruit of paradise through him, the lowly and unworthy servant of God, Ephrosinus. Then, in an assembly of the monastery brethren, the priest related everything he had experienced, pointing out the spiritual heights of Ephrosinus in pleasing God and to the fragrant fruit of paradise. Deeply impressed by what they heard, the monks went to the kitchen to pay respect to St. Ephrosinus, but they did not find him there. Fleeing human glory, Ephrosinus had fled the monastery. The place where he concealed himself remained unknown. The pieces of the apples from paradise the bread reverently kept and distributed for blessing and for healing. In modern day and age, if you ever come into an orthodox kitchen and see upon the wall an icon of a saint holding a branch with three apples, know that that is the icon of that very same Ephrosinus. By his prayers, may we meet him in that paradise. Amen. <music>